Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Sunday, April 23rd, 2023. Lance Brack here. It's a little rainy here in Michigan right now to start off this Sunday episode of GMWF. And first, I want to talk about last week. Friday night's Smackdown, which I won't talk about the whole show. Just want to mention one thing real quick. was actually a pretty rustling, heavy show for a change. I know I should talk more about it, do more of a full recap, but the main event. Solo Sakoa defeat Matt Riddle in a no DQ match. With some help from the Usos in there too as well. The WWE Undisputed Tag Team Champions. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Not there Friday night on SmackDown. To help out their bro Riddle. Like I said more of a wrestling heavy and less talking episode of Friday Night Smackdown. And last night on a special Saturday episode of AEW Rampage, we had a match for the Triple A Mega Championship. El Hio del Vikingo defeating Daristico in a pretty good match there. And the team of Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal, and the AEW World Tag Team Champions, FTR, faced the Varsity Athletes, which I think I made a mistake uh, last Wednesday during the Dynamite recap. I, I think I said it was the firm, but... That attached Mark Briscoe in the back, but it was the varsity athletes. My mistake there. Could tell FTR wasn't too happy about having the team with Jarrett and Lethal and having Saddam Singh in their corner. And early this morning, we had the stardom. All Star Grand Queendom show, and I'll just go over a couple things from that show. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen the show yet, if you plan on watching it later today and don't want to be spoiled uh, about a couple things, you can turn off the podcast now. Maya Sakura won the Yokohama Rumble match. And Mayu Tawani defeating Mercedes Monet for the IWGP Women's Championship. As of right now, I'm not too sure about the future of Mercedes Monet in New Japan. I did see where. She was negotiating about a new deal with them, but she dropped the title, so right now I'm not sure. But I wouldn't be too surprised if we do see her back in New Japan in stardom, maybe even make an appearance at Forbidden Door with AEW. So that we will just have to wait and see what is the future of Mercedes Monet in New Japan Pro Wrestling. That did sound like a pretty good card. I have not watched it just yet. Also, Team Nakano defeat Team Gilia. Or Tam Nakano. Sorry about that. 
for the World of Stardom Championship in the main event. Also tonight is WWE Superstar Sunday on A&E. A little different this week though. There is no biography. Actually, I still haven't watched last week's episode of the Iron Sheik yet. Last uh, weekend was Impact Wrestling's Rebellion on Sunday night. So I watched that live. I recorded the biography of the Iron Sheik but haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I probably will watch it one of these days. Not sure when just yet. But as I was saying tonight, no episode of Biography. Instead, two new episodes of Rivals. Both episodes featuring Stone Cold Steve Austin. I want to say the first episode is him and Shawn Michaels and and him and Bret Hart I believe but just to make sure let me go on my sling app here on my phone and check well that first one is no help and then Actually, the second one is Shawn Michaels. And then I think the first one is Bret Hart. So I had them 